Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. All units 1034, repeat, assault reported. Any officers near Madison, proceed to the crime scene. Taxi! Taxi! Love it. Officer on the scene. Incident is active in Dutchtown. Over. Oh, it is on. Like the holdup guys are phoning it in lately. All units be advised, break in in progress. Officers needed in Upper Chinatown. Hi, 
Goodbye, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you did last time. I don't wanna hurt you! It'll just slow me down! Wow! That's considerate! What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Herman? What? The only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? someone or for someone you can tell me who it is now or make me punch it out of you later your choice Shut enough. Getting away. personality but your suit is awesome can we talk design details <laughs> maybe later good work spider-man did you learn anything about his motive I tried but he's not very talkative plus I think he hates me you have that effect on a lot of people but you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool.
Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? <sighs> I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. I could patch these. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city.
Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. Why did I lose track of time? Window, but I always get the feeling something strange is going on in that place. Good at breaking or entering? Maybe don't pull a B and E. Empire State University, the old alma mater, and holder of my student loan. chase to keep a guy on his toes. Careful with my adoring public. Ten ten, need an officer to respond to a reported drug deal. Please converge on Tenderloin. Over. Wouldn't be New York without a seedy drug deal. Come on, fellas. You can't keep ducking income tax like this. Like fish in a barrel. Peter, Mr. 
Mr. Lee spoke to me, he seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think he reminded him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research station. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Possible drug deal in progress. 
Nearest unit approach with caution. Officers needed on scene in Rosevale. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. These clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. <laughs> Got it. Must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else to do? Huh. 
Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars. And a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. Can you say hi to my kid? Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. <laughs>